can you see art that celebrates the rebirth of a community after a tsunami? Hi, I'm Jerry. Welcome to Event for Globe, your guide to event for events all around the globe. Here we are in Miyagi, Japan, celebrating Miyagi's rebirth after the Great East Japan earthquake and tsunami. Here, you can immerse yourself in the art, music, and food that celebrates Miyagi's landscape, culture, and creativity. This event occurs biannually during the odd years, from early August to late September. The art exhibitions are spread out across various locations throughout Ishinomaki City, the Oshika Peninsula, and Aichi Island. The Reborn Art Festival is a uniting force that brings together various art forms, from culinary arts to performing arts and visual arts in more than 100 exhibitions. The arts are site-specific, and they tell the story of the landscape that has been reborn after devastating natural disasters. They draw locals and tourists together to pay tribute to Miyagi's resilience and appreciate heroic efforts to revitalize their communities. Experience the Reborn Art Festival. Purchase a passport that grants you access to all exhibitions during that year. At every checkpoint, you'll collect stamps on your passport. And if you like to revisit exhibitions, there's an additional small fee involved. Dining will also cost extra, and reservations are recommended, especially for dates that feature celebrity chefs. One of the most popular exhibits that's a permanent exhibit, so you can see it year after year, has to be the one with the stag. Deer are very popular and common in this part of Japan. And it represents the locals, because the deer are locals themselves. And this stag, which is larger than life, beautifully white, pure, and looking upwards towards the sky, seems to be a symbol of hope and endurance as it stands there stoically, regardless of the seasons, regardless of circumstances. See how it speaks to you and get some cool shots of it. I was initially skeptical if the road trip to various art installations would be worth all the time, effort and expense. After our first zone, where we explored entrancing caves that come to life with artwork that harmonizes with the natural landscape, I realized that the artworks were truly worth venturing for. I was eager to see all of the art festival, and though we unfortunately ran out of time, the ones I did see were surprisingly intriguing, immersive, and impactful. My personal favorite has to be the interactive art that was created out of the sticks that guests leave behind after eating the popsicles that we could help ourselves to. It represented for me the generosity and the creativity of the community, their eagerness to share and make the most of whatever they have left. Indeed, the Reborn Art Festival is not only interesting, but also inspiring. If we do return for another year of the Reborn Art Festival to check out new works, I think we should give ourselves three full days with a car to cover all sites and collect all the stamps for our passport. I'm curious to see all the varied artworks and the new artworks that will be showcased in each iteration of the Reborn Art Festival. This festival was one of the highlights of our Tohoku trip. We loved exploring and photographing the various art styles that were featured. The works were beautiful and powerful. Many were very experimental. Though experiencing the Reborn Art Festival comes with a significant cost, it was all worthwhile given how impressive the art is and how they helped to contribute to the community's rebirth. It is so meaningful on so many levels. If we're in the Tohoku region again during Reborn Art Festival, we would gladly do it again and see what new gems we find. If you've enjoyed this video, you'll be thrilled to know that you can probably catch a Pokemon train while you're in the Tohoku region. 
It's a seasonal special that was created specifically to bring joy to the communities that have been devastated by natural disasters. Indeed, it doesn't just bring joy to the children, but as adults too. We love collecting all those stamps that we got at every station. Gotta catch them all! <laughs> Before we leave, we thought we'll leave you with a disclaimer. These we bought with our own money. This is not a sponsored post. But if you'd like to support us and help us continue on all these great journeys, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu.